Good day, my youthful dreamers from around the globe. Thank you for joining us in another episode of the Class Clown series where we talk about provinces, provinces, <laughs> <laughs> territories in Canada. Mm -hmm. We have seen a behind the camera Hello. of the producer to make sure I'm doing an all right, if not fantastic <laughs> job. And I am Sarah, your host oh, with the most. Uh, in addition, I would like to mention that our references are pulled from Canada.ca, where you can get a lot more information, resources, and links if mm -hmm. you want to do further research about Canada. Mm -hmm. And there is a study guide, a PDF file that you can download as well mm -hmm. on that site. All right, so let's get started. Yukon. Thousands of miners came to the Yukon during the gold rush of the 1890s, as celebrated in the poetry of Robert W. Service. Mining remains a significant part of the economy. The White Pass and Yukon Railway opened from Skagway in neighboring Alaska to the territorial capital. Capital? There's an animal and a color, you got it, white horse, in 1900 and provides a spectacular tourist excursion across precipitous passes and bridges. How exciting. Yukon holds the record for the coldest temperature ever recorded in Canada. Want a hazard, hazard any guesses on this one? Minus 56. So close. Minus 62. Oh! Minus 63. Degrees Celsius! Yay. My goodness! That was wow, a good game. That is cold. That is a shiver, 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 <laughs> if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking. Moving on. The Yukon, which means Great River also has a small population of about 34,000 human beings, also known as people, mm -hmm. also known as us. Yeah. I'm not an alien. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Sina. Which might be a reason why they are proud to say they have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the country. Well, sign me up, because I love working. Did you know, world, that Yukon is a part of the Arctic Circle? It is. Did you know that this province has amazing views, I'm sure you can imagine, which includes the Northern Lights, as mentioned in another episode, mountains, volcanoes, glaciers, rivers, coniferous forests, and wildlife. So the episode I was referring to before was the Northwest Territories. Canada has it all. They got it all. But the Northwest Territories and the Yukon, you can see the beautiful Northern Lights. So, mm. and then we also talked about wildlife in that episode. So here in the Yukon, we have wildlife also. And yes, speaking of wildlife, you might find Cena there on a good day. <laughs> but, um, <pshaw>. oh. <laughs> All right, guys, let's keep it silly. Okay. While it is the smallest territory of the Canadian territories, it is comparable to the size of Spain. As you know, guys, as I know, Canada is the second largest country in the world. We have a very big land mass, so it's believable that this province is comparable to the size of Spain. Mm -hmm. The Yukon houses Mount Logan, the highest mountain in Canada and the second highest in North America. We also have the St. Elias Ice Fields, which is the biggest non-polar ice fields in the world. The I'm, world. yeah, I'm shivering again. <laughs> Just thinking about it. No, I'm not a big fan of the cold, but you know, when you accept the cold, you, in, you can accept 
very beautiful views. Mm -hmm. So don't let a little shivering stop you guys. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Uh-huh. There's the Carcross Desert, the smallest desert in the world, which only shows up during the warmest part of the year in this province. Oh, cute. Super. <laughs> There is an annual festival called the Sourdough Rendezvous that takes place in the provincial capital. Do you remember? It's an animal, it's a color. Well, color first, animal second. White horse, White there horse. we go. <laughs> Every February. So guys, if you're in the Yukon, head on over to that festival, why not? Finally, we have the world's largest annual kayak and canoe race here. It's called the Yukon River Quest. Do you think it's too challenging? I don't think so. You can do it! <laughs> hey, yeah, guys. You can do it. She's been sitting on that joke <laughs> whole day. Like, for the whole day. <laughs> so happy I got it out. All right, guys. So. Uh, as you might have seen, some words popping up around this area. Be sure to check the descriptions box down below. And for all of you students out there, if you want to keep track of what I'm saying, check the spelling or anything, remember to turn on your closed captions and it'll be easier for you to read through while I speak. Everyone have a wonderful day and see you for another episode. Thank you, Sarah. Happy You're learning. Welcome. Happy learning, guys. <laughs> <laughs>